Hi, this is Trevor Conkergood. Welcome to this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. And our topic for this week is how to fit text into a shape. And this is for, um, you know, if you were trying to create an embroidered baseball and maybe you took a ball apart and you wanted to fit your text exactly into the space that you have, then this is a great video for you. Um, we'll go ahead and bring up my workspace to get started. And just notice that I actually have an image on my screen that represents the shape of a baseball. This came to me as an SVG image. So assuming that this is the exact size of my baseball, then this is the exact space that I want to put my embroidery into. And of course, if your ball was a different size, then you could take a picture of it and bring that in as your backdrop or simply just resize this artwork to the correct size. But now the question is, how do you fit the text into the shape? And even how do you do cool stuff like um, create the lettering envelope to make your text fit into the shape. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll click on the text tool and just choose horizontal text. And then you click on the workspace to start a text segment. It's going to come up in whatever font you most recently used. Um, um, in the case of this, I was using a block font called Anna. It's a good font to use if you want to make um, you know, some smaller size lettering and have it be really nice and adjustable to be also fairly big. So um, I chose that font and I can type in my letters here and click OK. Now it comes in at the default size of 0.8 of an inch, but I could easily use this font at 0.5 of an inch and it would look great. Um, you could probably even get it smaller than that if you want to. Um, before you kind of worry about uh, anything else, I often like to just adjust uh, visually, look at the text spacing. And to me, the V looks a little far. So I have these handles that I can use to just visually adjust any um, in errors and spacing that didn't look perfect. And once you're happy with any uh, visual adjustments, then the question is, where does it go? You know, and the first thing I would say that might make that easy for me is to create a guideline. You know, where is the center of this ball? And <clears throat> the way I would do that is um, click on my ruler and drag onto the workspace and see how you can create uh, an unlimited number of guidelines. Uh, just go ahead and bring it over. Now, where does it go on the ball? Well, the easiest way to figure that out is to select the ball because that'll put a box around it. And I can use the box that's around my ball to show me where its center is. And so I just need to move this guideline over to be kind of exactly down the center of that uh, box. And now I have a guideline that shows me where is the center of the ball. And I use a mouse with um, a wheel on it to make zooming a little bit easier for me. Uh, but of course, you can always use the magnification tool. Just click on it and then click and drag to zoom in on the area that you want to see and then click on your select tool. And so I'll select my text and it puts a box around it, which makes it very easy for me to use the center of that box as my visual guideline for where is the center of my uh, embroidery, you know, and get it, you know, perfectly aligned with the top of the, you know, uh, pattern like that. And of course you could, um, make multiple words and I don't prefer to put my next word in the same segment. I know that you can, um, but the trouble is I may want to adjust the second word independently of the first word. And so in this way, I kind of have to start over, uh, but rather than putting them together, what I'm saying is I'll hit undo. So I just have the word Trevor, and now I copy to get a second text segment. And now I know that both of these text segments are equal in size and weight. And so if this was going to be, um, you know, my last name, it's going to end up being longer. 
because there's more letters in my last name than my first name. Now, there is a little bit more space at this area of the design, but unfortunately, it's not enough. And so now comes the question, how are you going to fit this into the space? You know, do you want to um, make it smaller or do you want to squish it? I think that that would be my kind of two options here. So to make it smaller, I would use the corner handle and I would resize by corner. And so I could make it smaller this way. Um, or my other option would have been to have squished it. So if I undo, that made the text all small. Squishing would leave it a, a similar height to the word Trevor, but it would give me a more condensed letter shape. So it puts them uh, a little bit, you know, more squishy is what it'll do. But now um, it fits the shape. So really the question is, what do you prefer and how do you want to uh, make it look? Because the tools are there to make kind of any adjustments that you want. Um, the other one that we were looking at was the enveloping and how could I do uh, the enveloping and, and, and use that enveloping to perhaps do something like I have got the word rangers here. And so in that case, um, you're going to use, uh, so what I might do to just make it easier is actually select the area that I'm going to work on and rotate it maybe like 90 degrees. Um, that way, you know, the space is the correct orientation that I'm going to work in for the text. And I can then, you know, take my text and start a new piece. You know, it says my text, but maybe what we want to make that say Floriani. And I went with all uppercase. That's not a rule, but I will say that with enveloping, it looks nice with all uppercase because all the letters kind of meet the same top and bottom line. And so here's the kind of trick of it is um, decide where you want it to go. I usually start with the top left of the letter and then I can use um, the other side to make it kind of however big it needs to be to fill that area. So maybe I've gone too far if I want to, you know, center it over this center so I can resize a little smaller again. But once I get it right on the sort of center line, then I can use this to make it taller. And I'll make it so tall that the letter F and the letter I fit. And I purposely allow the kind of top of the word Floriani and the bottom of the word Floriani to be too big for the shape uh, because we'll fix that next when we uh, envelope. So to do that, we would right click on our selected text to choose the, the option for edit text, which brings back the little blue and gold handles, you know, that you can use to adjust the letter spacing if there was any uh, incorrect letter spacing that you didn't like. And then uh, make sure it's centered, right? So get that center handle right on that center line and then move it up to add the shape that contours. And so that's called a letter envelope. You can um, just move the corner handles and the center handles to kind of perfect that. Um, you can get it to be very close to your shape in that way. If you wanted to do anything more than that, once you, that's the enveloping. And I know is that that's very easy to do. Um, once you learn to do enveloping, it's very easy. But if you wanted to be able to say, well, I wish I could make just the O a smidge bigger or something, then you do have the ability to select your text and right click and say, break up text. And once you break apart the text, it's really no longer a text segment and I would no longer have the ability to do any enveloping. What I really now have is a letter F and an L and an O, you know, which that now if you want to stretch or do something to make that one letter, you know, exactly the space that you want it, you can. And so now it's a little bit more of a micromanaging, you know, one letter at a time to fit the shape. Um, but so I've given you a lot of different, topics in this week's RNK Software Club's video of the week. And some of it might have been too fast. There are some great videos if you look in the playlists under text and lettering, kind of some, you know, learning the basics one. But this one was really great for somebody that wanted to learn specifically how 
to take um, you know letters and fit them into a shape. So we hope you enjoyed this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. We're always to hear you're happy, happy to hear your questions and comments. And so if you have any, please reach out. Until then, have a great day. Thanks for listening and bye for now.